Actually, Bill Bingen's research that gave us the 4% rule, like we can talk about whether that's a, a great rule of thumb or not, but it had a very valuable contribution, which was it showed why Dave Ramsey's logic is wrong. Dave Ramsey's still talking about the idea of stocks averaging, I guess, 8% after inflation. And so let's plug 8% in a spreadsheet and then we can, have a, we can safely spend 8% a year. Or I think he says, no, it's, well, 12%, I think, is his stock market return. And historically, the stocks average 12% in the U.S., but that's not their growth rate. The, the compounded rate accounts for the, the lack of symmetry. If markets are down 50%, sure. you got to get 100% to get back to where you started. Right. So stocks grow at a lower rate than their simple average return. And he's even said on his show, though, that anyone who points out that distinction is an egghead and it doesn't matter, but it, it actually, absolutely does matter. Yeah. The 8% withdrawal rate uh, has a less than 50% success rate in U.S. historical data. 